everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the Japanese Whiskey Review. Brian here, and we're moving on with our uh, list of worst Japanese whiskies of all time. Now we're talking about the Hanyu Chichibu family. So, again, check out the prices. They can be absolutely crazy these days. Guess what? They've done duds as well. Full tasting list, and my rating will be in the description put a link in there to the blog with all of them because I didn't do tasting notes for all of them so let's start Chichibu Port Pipe 2009 to 2013 so roughly four years old ringing in at 54.5 percent ABV nose and again some of these might sound fine superficially no strawberries white chocolate light port Zinfandel or Zinfandel young the wine young plums nutmeg maple syrup a briny element wood stained oak immediately young in nature though something wasn't quite on the money palate quite a lot of pepper and nutmeg white plums a Zinfandel or Zinfandel wine which is like a white style of wine white grape wine white chocolate light port maple syrup i can taste them right now when i'm saying these i know exactly what they taste like even though i i finished it white chocolate light port the maple syrup sorry if i got sidetracked a little soapiness to the mouth feel again quite youthful finishes short on white plums nutmeg and the white wine the zinfandel last word the young age shines through and they don't have to don't get me wrong most young Chichibu, young Mars, young Kanosuke, etc., etc., they can taste quite mature for their age compared to a young Scottish whiskey, primarily down to the climate in Japan compared to Scotland or where the distilleries are. Not in a base spirit kind of way, but a lack of richness, fullness to the flavours, which many young Japanese whiskies do have and it didn't cr crunch under the 70 you know under the 80 mark it got 80 out of 100 but again you've got to look at it on that i look at it on on what you get for the money as much as anything else as well as the tasting notes the flavors complex yes or no balanced yes or no and comparing it to other chichibu or other japanese whiskey or other scottish whiskies okay let's move on okay golden horse and this was a, an old golden horse. Toa Shusa was the original family name of Ch uh, Akira Chuto's family company when they were doing sake and stuff before they started doing whiskey. When they started doing whiskey, they had a couple, you know, they had the Hanyu brand. They also had a, a, a label which they had Golden Horse. Now, buy beware because another company in the last whatever it was, seven, eight years, something like that started using the golden horse name but only using imported whiskey and bottling it leaning on you know the history of the Hanyu family Toa Shuzo sorry but this is one of their old bottlings blend there must be some sort of I'm not sure what they blended it with whether it was imported malt who knows who knows whether they even you know used rice whiskey in it from their uh, from their um, sake experience um nose briny and minerally some lemon a little soapy and a floral note note fairly flat overall palette smooth and creamy some malt nuttiness and musk like musk sticks that sweet candy a very basic construction so there wasn't a lot of body without any real development finish a bit of malt and musk dies a short simple death with some trailing bitterness, mineral taste, the mineral taste at the end. And that really, that was 67, you know, 67 sounds like a dartboard throw. They kind of are, let's face it. What, 67 versus 66 and 68? Personal taste, you know, just maybe I had a 68 and that tasted a little bit worse. Right, let's crack on. Okay. And again, some of these might surprise people considering the cost of these whiskies now, or maybe people found it tasted better than what I did. 
Ichiro's malt, the final vintage of Hanyu 2000, nine years old, 61.1% ABV. Not sure why I said this, I must have been comparing it to some other one, but I just said another woody Hanyu. It doesn't mean they're all woody, I might have just tasted one that was quite oaky, but not in the same sweet variety as the likes of the double distilleries. Okay, interesting. So, nothing to do with the wood, just the way the wood presented in this particular one and maybe a couple of others. Lots of varnish, also blueberries, supple florals and oregano or oregano where we come from down under. Palette, without water the spices run wild with plenty of heat. It warms the chest as one might expect. Doesn't always happen with high proof whiskies. Some of them don't warm the chest, they're quite mellow. A fair whack of dry woodiness as well. Adding water, which is pretty much mandatory for this bottling, brings the florals out a little more on both nose and palate. And I'll give you an example. I just, on the way back into Australia from Singapore recently, I grabbed a bottle of uh, Avalara Abunard. Probably always pronounce that wrong. And that was about the same proof as this. And that just went down like treacle. So high proof doesn't mean hot or hot on the chest as well. Uh, bring, uh, adding water brings out the florals, out a little bit more on both nose and palate. Becomes slightly, oh, my notes got more sophisticated by then. Becoming slightly vegetal, uh, including steamed broccoli. There's also a toastiness along with black pepper. Finished with or without water, this is fairly long, varnishy, woody, spicy, ultimately drying. Okay, sounds alright. But, last word a little too woody and austere to my taste for me it lacks finesse and i rated that 80 out of 100 and that probably goes for two or three thousand dollars or more now that whiskey okay oh these are going to surprise people okay the famous achiro's malt card series from when hanyu was distilling and Ichiro Akuto saved those casts from the company that bought out his family company. Now we're just going to, I think, reconstitute them into something else. Card series, right? All got to be awesome at the price you got to pay for them. Okay, so this is a 2009-year-old. I said 57.9. Let's go. No, it's gunpowder, strut mats, so kind of sulfury, lime, white pepper, mushroom, mixed peel. So dried mixed peel, it's like a marmalade, but just the lemon peel and the orange peel. With water, there's some marzipan comes through. Palette, blood orange, burnt toffee, the gunpowder struck match. Blackberries, wet earth. With water, the mixed peel zings. So very zesty. Finish, sweet spices, blackberries. By now, you might even want to buy a bottle the way I'm presenting it. Christmas pudding drizzled in warm treacle and buttered mushrooms. Then again, lots of struck match. It's a very sulfury whiskey. I called it general comments when I did this. Too much gunpowder, sulfur for my liking. It's just overwhelming. Rating 76 out of 100 for the much lauded card series. I forget how many I've tasted out of the card series, but it's quite a few. Okay, let's crack on. Ichiro's Malt Wine Wood Reserve. 46% ABV. Nose reminds me of some sherry cast scotches. I said, e.g. McLaren, McAllen 12. Yeah, I, I don't think I wrote that up well. I shouldn't have compared it like that. I'm not exactly sure. Well, I did wasn't really the point more than a wine finish okay okay so it was more sherry cast than wine marmalade figs oak chocolate wood stain soap a little a little bit spirity i don't know why i wrote spiritus i don't think that's a word but it's spiritus aren't they but that's probably enhanced by the style of whiskey palette initially very fizzy on the tongue orange sherbet it was one of those austin powers movie Brazil nut, bitter chocolate, raisins and pepper. Finish, there was pepper, marmalade, raisins, kind of bitter, sweet, quite long with hot spices on the palate and then butter menthol. And I think the, the balance wasn't right for me. This, 
there was something that was off about the balance to me and that one got 79 out of 100 so let's go on this is a series so then you had the Chiro's Malt Mizanara Wood Reserve then you had the double distilleries now the double distilleries I really like so I'm comparing those three to other whiskies, but to each other and comparing the double distilleries to these two this is where these two landed as well so 46% ABZ for the Mizanara Wood Reserve quite gentle dominant note is honey also lemon meringue grapefruit and a little salt palate pepper and white sauce over cauliflower which I don't mind eating it as a dish maybe not as a whiskey ginger lemon and grapefruit so it's kind of simple finish short with a little spice not a lot of power for 46 cent 46 percent abv feels more like 40 mm, where again i've tasted 43 that could feel like 48 or 50 or 46 that could feel like 50 plus and i just said is this quite young as i'm not picking up a lot of influence from the mizanara oak the mizanara oak can be quite subtle can't always pick it up in a blend but there's certain elements which were there in this one I, I wouldn't pick this as a Mizunara oak whiskey at all and if I compared it to other Mizunara oak Japanese whiskies I'd go yeah it's chalk and cheese last word easy enough to drink but not particularly memorable and that one crashed and burned at about 79 at 79 out of 100 and let's finish off with another whiskey that's probably selling in the tens of thousands of dollars range. A Chiro's Malt Hanyu. Okay, 1988, 21 year old, no NOH, sherry, uh, sherry butt. Cast was 9306, rang in at 55.6 ABV. So this is an Achiro's Malt it's one of the whiskies from the cast he salvaged after the com his, his family's company went bankrupt and nose pure tea pure pu dash e r h t struck match burnt twigs varnish mixed peel and grape fruit palate adds the following to the nose fig jam burnt popcorn and green grapes water ramps up bitter elements on the finish bitter earthy lots of burnt notes twigs popcorn um like burning popcorn in a pan before it all pops and you struck match last word Woo! fairly unpleasant and tough for me to finish especially with water out of for lovers of dirty sherry style whiskies a la many karui zawa and rating i gave that 76 out of 100 wow any hoodle, um, that's it for the uh, Hanyu Tutubu family worst of. Next up, could be Kieran, could be someone else. I think I'm kind of getting to the end. I'm, I won't pick too much on newer distilleries, mainly ones that have had quite a you know a long history with plenty of whiskies that I've tried and I've been able to compare. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.